Hello everyone, welcome back to Imposter Factory. We are continuing on in this game. I think we're pretty close to the end. We shall see, of course, as we continue. But a quick little recap. We... Oh, we've been through a lot of emotions in this game. We saw... Oh, man, it's just... It was a lot, like... They had a baby, and, like, the baby, like, was okay. Um, despite, like, this mysterious illness that the... That I can't remember their names right now at this moment. I'm so sorry. But, like, this mysterious illness that the girl has, right? Like, the lady. And... It looks like they're really excited and like their kid was gonna do really really well but then things got worse and we saw unfortunately that their little one didn't make it and it caused her to kind of go like react differently and she got really involved back into the work that she was doing in regards to like memories and changing things and so we saw that kind of like development and which was quite crazy because she just basically left uh, left the guy and she just completely abandoned him and now we are kind of back into the mansion where all the murders were happening and the time loops and all that kind of weird stuff and apparently we're doing this so that we can figure out what actually happened like what actually caused them to die and so we're gathering a lot of data we're going through all these time loops and we're trying to reveal what happened and maybe resolve it or prevent it from happening. I'm not too sure exactly what the intentions are in this regard, but we're gonna find out. So let's continue. We're on, we're continuing onwards with the scary stuff. So we get to go downstairs because basically, oh, basically, um, the machine that they're revealing to these people, like the investors, I'm assuming. Uh, goes off and that's one reason that they all die like all of them in the room pass away And we have to go to the basement to double check like what could be the source of it because of the power and you know technology things uh, So yeah, we're going down to the basement so This is rice bot. He's our helpful little boy. He's there to help us. So it's good So we're gonna continue on with him wait It is dangerous to go alone Take this. Oh, beautiful Zelda reference. Thank you. Ken Gao for the Zelda reference. Take this. <gasps> the key you don't want to go, though. Take this. Oh, kitty witty. Take this. Cats? Join the party? Meow. I mean, sure. Why not? Oh, yeah, Quincy. Okay, we got our kitty with us, and now we have to go down to the basement, uh, or the secret lab, I guess, through the pool table, or the billiards table. Meow. Cat, question mark, has joined your party. Meow. Oh boy, time to see what's going on down here. I wonder if there's, like, someone down here that's sabotaging it, maybe. It's wonder. It's wonder. Okay. We're down. Kinda creepy with no one here though. Meow. Meow. Oh, that is not creepy at all, right, guys? The door just opening for us to go in. I'm not creeped out, you're creeped out. What the pug? Um oh, it's just a forever hallway? I don't remember this hall being nearly this long before. Oh, okay. Kitty witty, save me. What, what was that? Meow. I am really scared, guys. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, um, vent. Did you... Did you hear that? Meow. Something's not right. Uh... Uh, okay. Mm, I'm scared. I don't like this. Oh, kiddokies. Okay, you know what? Stop. Just stop it. What the pug is this? Why is the corridor so long? 
Where does that light keep coming from? And what's with all the weird sounds? You hear that? Freaking creepy wood creaking? How? It's all metal and concrete here. There is no wood! And the cat face palms. <laughs> and you, what do you even do? How are you supposed to protect? You don't even have a knife. You're just a cat. And now that I think about it, you weren't even that long. If only you were actually helpful. Oh, is the kitty crying? You made the cat cry. Fuck you, bro. Okay, look. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. Oh. Oh, it's just... It's just been a rough day, you know? I mean, first all the murders, and then I find out that I don't exist. Even for an optimist, that's things. On the upside, I guess it really can't get any worse from here. Yeah. Come on, let's go finish this. Whatever's up ahead, I'll take it. Meow? Kitty witty? Oh? Wait, what was that? Meow? Wait, why is the kitty going with me? What the? Um, uh, is that a lion now? Is this kitty lion? You've... You've changed. You've become something else. Something more. Oh, it's got boxing gloves on. And like a little like boxing helmet. Oh my god, that's so cute. You're you're taking the lead. At the darkest hour, you've really come through for me. I'm sorry I ever doubted you. All right, let's go observe the pug out of that computer. Oh my god, what are we watching, guys? Like, this is so- it's funny, it got all really creepy and weird, and then he fell apart, and they made the cat cry, and then he made the cat feel better, and then the kitty transformed, and now we're the cat. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it, guys. We'll, we'll do this, it's fine. Boxing kitty. Hello? Lenry? You're... you're back. Yeah, sorry. I had to step out to double check something. Are you almost at the control center? I sure hope so. We've been walking for ages. The corridor leading to it seems to be stretched. It... seems to be looping. Boy, I'll say. <laughs> Wait, you mean literally? Yeah, hang on. It should be fixed now. Uh, thanks, but why was it like that? I'm not certain, but the room should just be ahead now. Tell me when you get there. I'll start the demo sequence then. Alright. Here we go. Spooky, scary skeletons. We're in the room with the kitty. Everything is fine. It'll be great. Can't wait. Well, we're finally here. You ready? Meow. Okay, Lenry, do you hear me? Yeah, the scene is ready and loaded. Should we, uh, prepare for something? Just being there is enough. You will have your data stream. You only need to stand there and observe. Okay, I'm good at that. Well then, shall we begin? Okay, yes, please. Let's get this over with. Oh boy, yeah, we're ready. Let's do it. Look at the kitty purr. The kitty purred. Guys, it went purr. Uh, that's a really bad purr. purr. I can't purr. It's fine. Uh, okay, the demo scene is starting. You should see the machine powering up. No. Yeah, it just did. 
Good. Keep your eyes on it and tell me if you see anything weird. Uh huh. I want to be that close to it, bro. Do you see anything? No, it just seems to be running normally. Uh, although. Although? There's some weird. There's some weird sound. What kind of weird sound? Is the machine short circuiting? No, it's not coming from the machine. It seems to be coming from. The vent. Um, what? The what? Wh what? Um, Quint, the system is almost ready. What are you seeing? The tentacles. Okay. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Why? No, I'm. This is fucked. I'm scared. Oh, hello. Uh, hello. Yeah, you yeah, angry tentacle boro, you um hi. Oh, um hi. What? Don't move. What are you? Why can't I get a reading on you? You are Oh, I gotta come out. You already know why. Then, are you the reason? When I unplugged from here earlier, when I logged off, there was nothing. Nothing but the machine to log back in with. As if the entire world just vanished. Am I not real either? No, you are real. Relative to this place at least. Lenry? Then, how many? Too many. What it what is it talking about? Too many what? Too many worlds. We're a long way up, Quincy. There are a lot of layers beneath us. Are we getting all like multiverse, metaversical and thing yeah, we really are, okay. I may have created your world, but another had created mine. Over and over until however many layers. At the bottom of the stack there exists the world that ran the first simulation. But as each simulation creates another, the original at the bottom is weighed down more and more. Until finally, even if just one more simulation is created, no matter how abstract, it would be enough to overload and collapse the entire structure. Tell me, are we at the top of that stack? You're correct. Then, 
then there's something that I still don't get. Why don't you just cut the infinite loop from the get-go? Why are you trying to preserve this world without eliminating us? And why are you here, even bothering to talk to us about any of this? Why do you even bother talking to him? Hey, I'm right here. That's different. He's... He's... Lenry? Tell me, who are we to you? To me? Oh, oh pretty, angel lady. Maybe not creepy anymore. Maybe, no, maybe creepy. To me, you are no one. But then again, that doesn't mean much. I'm not so different from that rice spots of this world after all. You don't look like a rice spot. No, I certainly hope not. Were you also an AI refit for the simulations? Well, not exactly. But I sure do clean up after your mess, just the same. These worlds may be simulations, but the automation still follows the laws of physics. To a fault, really. In cases like this, for example, someone has to manually prevent everything imploding. Fortunately, I happen to have an innate disregard for the laws of physics. But that's all a story for another day. Hey, hey, what are you? What the fuck? Okay, all right, guys. Well, this isn't that. Uh, oh, 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 just, just destroy the place. That's fine. Oh, <gasps> is she? Is she from that? Is she from? Is she the one? Is she from Finding Paradise? The one that was like the made up friend of Colin. I don't remember her name right now. It's not Sophia, but she's she's that the the, the glitch in the um, uh, is she is she? Because that's like the paper airplane from like the game, right? Oh my god, are you telling me that like? All of these games are actually linked together. They're all different simulations of the same thing happening. Based off through their memories of a whole... What? Okay. Mind blowing. Let's keep going. Shall we? Because that's normal. Oh, okay, all right. There are a lot of tangents out there beyond this one. Each moment blooming into countless branches of their own. But this particular tangent is being observed because it is special. It's special because despite being at the top of the stack, it was almost identical identi it was almost identical to base reality. There, everything began unfolding the same way. 
your childhood, your youth, your diagnosis. And just like here, against all odds, you kept pushing on. Never wasting a moment to unravel as much of the world as you can, while you still could. You learned all you could, tried as hard as you could. You met someone. Someone you imagined the future with. And graduated into a career where you felt you could make a difference. For a while, at least. Until it became something else. Too much to bear. You escaped. Traveled the world. And wondered why you didn't do it sooner. The base reality where you were from, it all followed the same course. That it's up until that point. When you came back from the trip and found out that you were pregnant. When you became ill halfway through the pregnancy. When you had to make that choice between yourself and the child. You chose to delay your surgery until he was due. You chose the child. Congratulations, but please rest well. You need some time to recover, but we're quite behind already. We'll be transferring you to surgical units soon. I understand. How is he doing? He's okay. You're the one we should be worrying about. He's tiny. Our little Toby Reynard. Actually, about that, I've been thinking, well, maybe, maybe he should take your sure name instead. My sure name? I mean, I can't think of any reason why not. But after all that, I can think of a lot of reasons why he should. I'd love that. Although, Toby doesn't ring as well with Watts, does it? Watts? Linry Watts? Like, like Neil Watts? Like Dr. Neil Watts? Wait. Okay, sorry. Do you have something else in mind then? How about Neil? <gasps> Neil, huh? Yeah, I like it. <sighs> Our little Neil Watts. <sighs> if you guys have no idea why I'm freaking the hell out right now, because you're just watching this game and you haven't watched any of the other, like, To the Moon, uh, To the Moon, um, A Bird Story, Finding Paradise, none of the previous games, Dr. Neil Watts is one of the main characters in the other games, um, with Dr. Ava, and so we're, the whole, Linry and Quincy are Neil's parents. But now I'm confused because we saw Neil die. Well, we saw Toby die. Their baby Toby die. And the one simulation that we just went through and fucking fell apart to. How did Neil survive? 
Oh, I was explaining it in front of my eyes now, isn't it? In face reality, your son never had the complications of an early birth. He made it through childhood just fine. With all the love you and Quincy could give him. But as for you, you never fully recovered. With the delay, the treatments couldn't revert your decline. And you spent much of your remaining years bedridden. Still, perhaps out of the will to be there for him, you lived a long past your prognosis. To watch him grow up, even if just a little more. But eventually, as you felt your time coming near, you sought out some old friends to leave something for him for when he grows up. You left him a piece of your memories. At the time, there is no way to decrypt it. But still, someday you hoped. When it rains, it pours. <sighs> Soon after you passed away, your son was diagnosed with the same hereditary condition. I don't feel like doing a creepy voice anymore, guys. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna just kind of talk normally here. But perhaps it was a reminder of his limited time here. Memento Mori. <gasps> That was the um, when into the moon we when we found like the little orbs like the little memory orbs or the key pieces, and we had to put the orbs into like the memory or the key item. That was what it was called, Memento Mori. It stirred up something within him, pushing him further, as it did for you. And although he tried distancing, distance, distancing himself from others, knowing what- I have to reread that, I'm so sorry guys. I'm like caught up in so many thoughts and emotions right now from the other games all the way up to this moment. It's a big thing here. This is big. And although he tried distancing himself from others, knowing what might await those who get close, he wasn't successful with everyone. Oh, it's Ava! This doctor <laughs> Okay, sorry. I'm... Yeah, oh my gosh. Oh, wow. This... Wow. Slowly, from the very basics, he worked and worked. All the way past the research you left behind. But despite it all, when the time came, again and again, he was rejected by the Foundation over your incident. So instead, he sought an, he sought an alternate route. He pivoted to an external company that licensed the imperfect- the imperfect- Oh, guys, I'm like really caught up in a lot of emotions and excitement here. Oh, wow. He pivoted to an external company that licensed the imperfected technology. And rather quickly, he made it into the ranks. With some help from a friend. It was a company where he could still access the code and hardware of the technology. A company that used, used it to fulfill last wishes by implanting the memories of a new life. Sigmund Corp. Yeah, a company called Sigmund Corp. Wow. It 
It's been many years since then. In that time, he's aided countless patients and witnessed as many lives go by. All while perfecting the technology on his own accord with the hardware and data access. And today, in that world, he succeeded. The world that we're in, and every world in that stack, it stands upon. They're the results of the first functional stress test from the machine he perfected. The first successful test. This machine he built, what is it for? A window to a world where everyone could leave a part of themselves after they're gone. So that everyone who ever existed, no matter how ephemeral, could have a lasting place in this world. And without having to say goodbye even earlier than they have to, to see and experience all the different possibilities this life has to offer. All my life here since the day he was born. I wish I'd made a different choice then. I'm so glad that somewhere out there, I did. I'm so glad that he's made it. Hi, birdie. It's almost time. Or sorry, my normal voice, right guys? Yeah, it's almost time. Now that we've gone beyond the boundary of set events, this tangent needs to be terminated. Terminated? It's just one tangent. Can't you let it run just this once? But it's, n but it's not just this one tangent. Out of the countless paths that Tess generated, this is not the only one that reached this point. As I speak to you on this roof, I am also speaking to thousands of other versions of you elsewhere. They too managed to dig deep enough to have found me. And if I don't terminate them, the foundation will fall and take everything with it regardless. This world was never meant to exist beyond this point. But, the worlds aside, I might have a way to give you more time. When you're ready, come with me. There's a place we need to go. There's a place we need to go to. Anomaly detected. Oh my god, he brought the kitty with him. Rise spot? You guys got here just in time. Hey, can they come with us? No, I'm afraid not. Where we're going, there's no protocol for them. They'll have to stay here. Aww, we're gonna go hug the kitty. Hey, about what happened back there? Oh no no, I know it was pretty scary, huh? Oh, hey, listen, I don't blame you for running. To be honest, I was so panicked that I didn't even notice you were gone. On the other hand, uh. Sorry we got the world deleted. I'd say curiosity killed the cat, but I guess we weren't even ever alive. I honestly still don't know what your deal is, but... Maybe I'll see you at a reboot one day and find out, yeah? Oh, you fist bumped the kitty. You fist bumped the kitty. Okay, take care, little dude. No. So, uh, you heard that, right? Affirmative. I am linked to Linner's data feed. But do not worry. 
for I am well versed. Well versed in what? In ceasing to exist. I am shut down daily. I'm not sure if this is the same thing, but let's hope so. There can be no difference between nothingness. Farewell until next time. Farewell, Rice Pot. You doing okay? Hey, Linry? Yeah. Yeah, I'm more than okay. Okay. The groundskeeper would be livid. Fair enough, dude. There's all these like little points that I want to look at here real quick. Cheeky. Oh, she was the angel the entire time? I think so. Yeah, I can only stay on here. I can't really go anywhere else, but... I guess it's time. Um, this might be a longer episode, guys, because I think this is like really close to the end. Uh, my computer is being a little slow right now. Sorry, guys, it kind of froze, but... Uh, wow. Oh, lordy, I don't know what I just did. I'm so sorry. Please hold, guys, as things are crashing. Don't crash. It didn't crash. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we're, we're, we're okay. Um, I don't think we're okay. Nothing's okay. This is wild to me. But anyway, let's continue forward. Well, shall we go? Yeah. Yeah, um... Lenry? I'm ready. So, where are we going? Some are far, but you'll be along but you'll be among good company. Now, this ride might be a bit more intense than the last one. Would you like the front seats or the back? It really doesn't matter to me. I guess Lenry can sit up front. All right, your call. Are we going to fall off this? <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny how this ended? It's just like Quincy going, Neow! falling over. That, yeah, pretty much. He's swearing a lot there, guys. So. Whoa. What the? What, where are we going? Oh, hello, Earth. <gasps> Are we going to the moon, guys? Could you imagine if we went to the moon? Ah, okay. We reached our station. Looks like we're the last to arrive. The last ones? What? What is all this? Oh, okay. Are these all versions of you from tangents where I materialized? Yes. The salvageable ones, at least. The salvageable ones? Well, we can't extend every rogue version of you, but if we consolidate the ones similar enough, then there'd only be one set to deal with. That is the way to end the rogue infinite loops, but still keep you in a sense. Speaking of which... Thanks. I think everyone's here. Whoa. There. Isn't that all better? Sorry you have to see me like this, but I'll try to be quick. 
What what are you doing? Didn't I tell you already? I'm saving the world. <laughs> okay. Finally. Some peace and quiet. All these lights. It's time for them to rest so others may keep shining. Yo, what the fuck? Beyond that gate, you'll find a new life for yourselves. One where your illness is cured, where everyone lives happily ever after. It will be a linear illusion with little resource required to maintain, but to you it will feel like a lifetime as real as your own. So think of it as a parting gift. You hear that, Lenry? We get to live the perfect timeline. Lenry? There's no point. I'm beyond grateful that our son is out there, but our purpose here is done. What truly happened beyond the, this world is already set. Why would another virtual ride matter when not even our own did? I've already seen all there is to see. All that truly matters anyway. But... But what if you haven't? I mean, I certainly had my world shattered too, in more ways than one. But if anything, doesn't this broaden the possibilities, not narrow it? And for that matter, why does it even matter if our reality isn't base reality? They may not be THE reality, but they were still OUR realities and all that we'd known. I mean, who's even to say that hers is truly the ultimate end of the stack? What's beyond that gate? It may not be real relative to her, but it's just as real relative to us. And who knows, maybe it'll be a glimpse of a reality that is truly out there somewhere. A reality that we can visit, and time to grow old together. What do you say, Lenry? Want to go on one last trip together? Aww. Aww. Cute. You'll wait for us until then? I won't need to wait. To me, time is a place. Go on. Your new life is waiting. Oh, take my hand. There's a world I need to know. Wow. Come on, game. Show me the world. Oh, is that little Linry? It's a little Linry. Oh, weird. Where's Quincy? I guess we won't see him until like the um, college university life, right? I guess so. Aww. Oh, it's about the cure. Oh, and she's able to run around and not get tired. Birthday parties, being with people. Aww, riding her bike. 
Oh, there's there's Quincy. So she does get to meet Quincy in this world. Oh my gosh. Aww. Yay, the graduation. They still went out and did all the traveling. A lot of traveling. It looks like more travels than like in the original reality. Wow. And do we get to see Neil being born again? A little baby Neil? Aww. Oh, yeah, maybe. Oh my goodness. Neil! Neil! And Ava. Oh. Oh my goodness. Now we get to see Neil's life before I join Sigmund. Oh, look at those two. Oh, four. Oh my gosh. Oh, ha, ha. Oh. Oh, did they get married? Yes! <laughs> that is so Ava and Neil. <laughs> They do get married. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, we get to play still. Okay. What are we doing? I don't know. Hi, love. No, I wanna. Mm. How do I? How do I? How do I? Stop the kid. Stop the kid. Stop it. Oh, fuck. Whatever. Let's go over here. Chat, chat, chat. Chat, chat, chat. Oh, people dancing. Ah, I dance with this person. I dance with that person. Uh, I'm gonna go dance with uh, Lindry though, our lady, our girl. Yee, so cute. Oh wow, gotta show off the moves, huh? <laughs> she giggles. Um. Oh, where are we going? What are we gonna do under the moonlight? Mm -hmm. Gosh, this is wild to me. Oh, the married couple. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Neil and Ava get to have a baby. Oh. <gasps> Oh. Oh my gosh. Oh. Grandma, grandpa, mom and dad. Oh, their little one grew up so much. Aww. Well, we had a good run, huh? The best is the birdie.
Oh. Oh. It's about time. This is all I could manage to do. Was it enough? More than I could ever ask for. But... I just wish he were actually here. He is here. He's been here this whole time. And from now on, he will always, he always will be. From now on, everybody will be. Aww. Wow. Oh, is that from like... That's so many people. Oh, all their memories and the... Oh my gosh. Why do I feel like this is really creepy? Oh ho ho ho. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. <gasps> what? What a series of games. And to have it all be like kind of wrapped up here in this game amazing these games are something else Special thanks to the Freebird Games community, our friends and family, in memory of Jordan Euphity Bear, a Freebird Games production, Freebird Games. No, thank you, Freebird Games. Ken Gao, thank you. These games were beautiful, and I had no idea how they'd be connected together, or if they were going to be connected together, but they really did. From To The Moon set up the whole idea of memories and links and going back into the past. It feels like we started with the end and went backwards to the beginning. I, I'm, there's, I'm lost for words. It's so cleverly done. Because you think with a progression of games, it's like, okay, the sequel, the sequel, the sequel. But in this case, it's like going backwards. So we started off with the last sequel. And went backwards to be like, this is where, how Neil was born, where the technology came from, how they did what they did into the moon and in Finding Paradise. That's what that did. And then A Bird's Thray was the premise of the setup for Finding Paradise. And then this game, Imposter Factory, was the setup to figure out where the technology came from and how Neil, how Neil did what he was able to do. 
with uh, Finding Paradise and kind of figure out the technology with Ava and then we find out that him and Ava are actually married and they're together. It's They're not just friends, they're actually together. And then you have a baby and then like that can continue on with the legacy and the technology and like there might be another game. Who knows? Like I think they're really teased at that a little bit. I don't know if they're gonna make another game or not after this, but I really hope they do because I love the story so much. So many twists and turns, some really interesting like thriller moments. I wouldn't say horror, but like kind of spooky thriller moments that of course can like you were so good at like having those comedic like relief moments. That was so, so good. This was such a wild ride. And I'm really, really glad that I've played all the games through now from To the Moon, A Bird Story, Finding Paradise, to now Imposter Factory. I have played all of these games all the way through now. And I can relive it through the videos and through playing them again. And I want to because it's such... It'd be interesting to actually go back and replay the games to see how it leads to this big final reveal from the developers my god thank you honestly a really amazing ride i'm gonna stop rambling now because i've i have so many emotions and this video is a lot longer than i intended it to be but man, what a great finale to imposter factory and to the whole to the moon series and to end the game on the moon where they go back and we see neil's life beautiful Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope everyone else enjoyed the story and the game and just everything that happened. It's so beautiful. If you have no idea what I'm talking about by the end of this series, I highly recommend going back and watching my series on To the Moon, A Birds of the Ray Finding Paradise, and this. Go watch all of it in order and you'll understand why I'm like I feel my like I feel like I've got like electricity in my body right now. Like just a full of adrenaline and emotion. Just Thank you, Ken. What an amazing, amazing series of games. I hope there's a teaser to the fourth one. It'd be really, really cool to see Neil and Ava teach their daughter like what this all is and if they can actually even improve upon it further and make the technology even better. We'll see. We'll see. That's a big ask, but I would love it. With that, thank you everyone for watching these games, this series. Amazing. And... I gotta figure out what to do for the next game. Wow. That is everything though. Take care everyone. Stay golden and I'll see you in the next whatever I do. Bye bye. Okay. I'm here guys again. There's no volume on the audio. There it is. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. Bonus video. I gotta. I didn't realize that there was more. I'm so sorry. Here we go. Bonus video. Let's, let's go. Oh, Neil, there you are. I just can't hold it in anymore. I must confess to you. That's not funny. It's a little funny. So, did I handle that all right? Yeah. Thanks. Strange how that's supposed to be the perfect timeline, though. It only felt perfect because it had the context of adversity that already exists here. Without that, there is nothing to overcome. It passed by without even a meaningful ripple. But still, are you familiar with the Library of Babel? Should I download the encyclopedia on it? Uh, no, no, that's alright. It's this theoretical library of books containing every possible combination of letters and punctuation. Anything that can be written, or ever will be, can be found there. So it's mostly nonsense and noise, but once in a while, you reach for a book, and it just happens to be exactly what you need. Uh-oh. What is that? A perimeter breach attempt. I gotta go. <sighs> perimeter breach? What perimeter? Wait, you don't mean... Huh. 
<laughs> Neil! Oh, I forgot Dr. Wonder. She has that sound and accent to her. I don't have your stapler, I swear. Oh, don't be silly. We were just nearby. Nearby now. Very far an hour ago. Before deciding to be nearby. Yeah, what are the chances, right? So, anyway, we were gonna go somewhere rad. You in? How rad? Surprisingly rad. I don't know why I'm going Valley Girl with her, guys. Let's just roll with it. But this is like a really special bonus thing, so I'm also posted here. Surprisingly rad. Hard pass. Gee, somebody's a party pooper. Oh, all right. I guess I'll guess no all you can eat ice cream for Neil then. I said, I guess no all you can eat ice cream for Neil then. We might as well, Neil. Who knows when we will be Who knows when will be the next time we'd be able to How'd you change so fast? It's a coat, not a cocktail dress. I'm expecting greatness. Uh, you forgot to close the... Uh. Uh, um... Is somebody in there? Hello? Sounds. I don't know where those are. I gotta find them. <gasps> They're hinting at another game! Thank you for supporting the series through the years. I just got chills. <gasps> you lovely people. Yes! Uh, I can't wait. Oh my gosh. Uh, Gonna do another game. I can't wait. This will be the official end for the video. Thank you guys for watching. I forgot to include this, so it's a little extra added thing here. But <gasps> there's gonna be another game. I'm so excited. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your games. Oh my god, I love you. I can't fucking wait. You're hinting at some spooky shit in Neil's room, and I can't even. Ah, okay. Thank you guys for watching. I can't wait for more. See you guys in the next. Video.